guys and welcome back to another video. A very exciting video because today I'm going to be packing for New York where we're going to in 40, 48 hours. Oh my God, we're going in 48 hours. Um, and there's still so much I need to do. My suitcase is completely empty. I have no idea what I'm taking. I really just need to get on top of things because in, tomorrow we're actually traveling down to my mum's to stay at my mum's and then we'll travel to Heathrow where we're flying from. Um, on wednesday morning because we fly like midday wednesday so it's monday lunchtime now we're going to go to my mum's tomorrow evening and then yeah it just means like less rushing around less traveling all in one go i just wanted to quickly explain to you guys how new york came about because um so many of my friends messaged me as well saying like oh you kept that kept that very quiet but i didn't keep it quiet because i literally planned it and booked it so last minute so basically danny goes away i'm sure i've mentioned so many times um on the 15th of February so like next week he goes away for three months well 11 four, eight, 12, 11 weeks he goes away for 11 weeks three months I knew that he was going to be able to get some time off before he went but I wasn't like 100% sure and he wasn't 100% sure if he was going to be able to get the time um so sort of in the back of my mind I was planning things that we could do I was looking at places like Venice I was looking at just going to the Lake District like we always do for a few nights um and then New York came to mind. I thought, I'm just going to have a look anyway. And I messaged um, a couple of girls from Trending Travel, the company that I normally book through, asked them what they had available. And they sent me some options. Um, I gave them a budget of around £1,500 um, for four nights. So, yeah, um, it's £1,500 for four nights. <laughs> they got it pretty much bang on. Um, and I think, you know, for New York, I don't really know what New York spending is like. I've never been. And a lot of people I've spoken to have said it's quite expensive. And obviously there's a huge array of hotels you can stay at, a huge array of like things you can do there. So it really does depend what you want to do, where you want to stay as to the price that it's obviously going to come to. Yeah, so I had that in the back of my mind, but I couldn't book it until I found out, which was literally on the day that I booked it. So I booked it on Thursday, I think. Danny told me Thursday morning that he was definitely going to have from the 8th to the 12th of February off of work um so I literally booked it that day and I'd planned to do like a video I saw Anastasia Kingsworth's video of her surprising her family with a New York trip and I thought oh, I'd love to do something like that for Danny but I'm literally so impatient I got too impatient that I told him on the day like that's ridiculous I couldn't even wait one more day to tell him a different way but I don't know if you saw the video of me surprising him it was either on my Instagram or on my TikTok I did like a silly quiz that I literally came up with him about two minutes whilst he was just waiting thinking what is she doing he knew that we were going to go somewhere because i told him like they're the dates that i want him to have off and um, but he had no idea that it was going to be new york i'd say that was one of the best surprises i've ever done like my surprises never normally work out and he never seems that surprised because i feel like in the back of his mind he always knows what we might be doing but no he definitely had no idea for this one so i've just spent this morning ticking off a few things like i've got airport parking just paid for that i've just paid for our visas visas are like esters i think they're called um, that was a lengthy process going to new york just bear that in mind like it took ages for us to do it it wasn't working for a while but i've managed to sort that now i'm currently sat in my bedroom really procrastinating packing i do love packing to go on holiday but it's the fact that i have no idea where to start i don't actually know the baggage allowance it must be 20 kilos like i'm sure that's about normal for baggage i'll probably need to check that but also when you think of new york you think of it being quite cold i've checked the weather and it's like it's like 14 degrees to be fair but i don't know if that's gonna be a cold 14 degrees or a warm 14 degrees so I want to take quite a lot of coats um obviously they take up a lot of room in the suitcase comfy clothes is definitely something that i need to take comfy shoes I only booked one thing um and that's the first night that we get there we're going to a restaurant called buddha khan which quite a few of you recommended to me it's like a chinese restaurant and i think they're actually in there on sex and the city which is so cool because i love sex and the city so yeah i just thought i'd bring you with me this afternoon show you what i get up to packing show you what i am packing um actually i want to show you guys my new wardrobes because i put a picture of them on instagram and loads of you said and asked me where they're from they're actually from ikea um and we built them ourselves there's like a little section you can go into ikea and it's all on the computer and you just design like how you want it so we measured out the space that we've got i'll show you in a minute um our wardrobes before the wardrobes that we've got now were horrendous absolutely horrendous you might have seen a picture i put on instagram but imagine like a wardrobe for a six-year-old child that's what we had we had one of those each it was so small like we could barely get anything in it and weeks and months now i've desperately been needing more wardrobe space so we've got that now danny very kindly built them and i just love them i'll show you them now so here we have our wardrobes look how big they are you could get like two of me in here but honestly the wardrobes before were like 
I don't know, they must have been, we must have had about this much space each, like for one person, that was for one person. And now we've got, so this is Danny's side and here, I might actually have a little look. He's quite organized to be fair. <laughs> this is Danny's side. All his tops up there and all his trousers and jeans at the bottom. This middle bit here we share because basically we've only got one rail at the top here. So this wardrobe's for anything long, like long dresses, long coats, um, any of Danny's like work stuff that's quite long. So for the other two as well, so for this one and mine, we've got a rail at the top and a rail in the middle. So we've got like two sets of hanging space, but for this one, that's just our long stuff. And then this is my side, really not much to see. And jackets and top stuff up here and then tracksuit bottoms and trousers down the bottom. And I'm just so happy so happy with them it doesn't even make our room feel that much smaller to be honest like that's what i was worried about when we saw them i thought oh, they're quite big and i thought it would make the room bedroom feel like really small because it's not massive anyway um but it hasn't and i'm really really happy with them i've just realized as well you probably can't see me because of the light but i've never actually shown you any of our house apartment really at all it's called a maisonette i'd never heard of a maisonette but basically it's three houses it's like one big house split into three. So we've just got like the top floor. Anyway, this is my little dressing room. I might close these so you can see. I mean, it's, it's not really giving, but it's a little bit better. So in here, we used to have our two wardrobes. We had the little one here and the little one here. But, and then these um, chest of drawers were in the bedroom. But we've just done a little swap just to make it a little bit more like a dressing room in here i don't need to sort these cushions out i don't know what's going on here i definitely think we've made the space a lot better in here and in the bedroom over here i've just got my little dressing table um oh yeah i've got these alex drawers as well from ikea the other day i've always wanted some of these and again i just needed a bit more storage in here because this um this dressing table is great but it's literally got one drawer here and then a little makeup drawer here but yeah this is what our little dressing room looks like also also i'm not sure if you can see behind me on the floor i went overboard i won't lie i went completely overboard i thought new york cold weather i'm gonna need lots of coats and now all the coats are here i'm thinking why have i ordered a coat for every single day of the week like that's not necessary i'm gonna do you a little try on haul of some of the bits that i picked up from plc because i won't lie like i absolutely love them and i think they're perfect for new york i think they're perfect for like a cold wintry day some of the bits that i picked up every single thing i ordered actually i'm really happy with and i honestly guys this is all the rubbish but i've got like one <sighs> two three four i got four big bags of stuff from plc so um i'll show you them in a bit also another job i've got to, on my list of things to do is measure this out because i'm not sure if this is hand luggage size i literally take the suitcase with me everywhere it's from captain and son um, i take it absolutely everywhere with me it's perfect but i've never taken it as hand luggage and i'm thinking i do kind of want a little bit of more um space and it is quite big you can get a lot of stuff in there but i don't know like what do you think i feel like it probably is hand luggage size but they're really um strict aren't they on hand luggage these days i swear they have to like they make you put it in that little box bit to see if it fits anyway i'll measure that and hopefully i can take that if not i'll find another hand luggage bag somewhere i feel like i might put you here i've put you there because the lighting is so much better i don't know why i didn't do that in the first place i don't think sometimes sometimes i film stuff and I watch it back and I'm like, why did I do that? Why didn't I just move the camera or lift you up? Or look, I'm learning. It's a process and I'm learning. Um, you're on my tripod, actually. First time I've used my tripod for filming. So that's very exciting. But what I'm going to do now um, is show you the coats that I'm definitely going to be taking. Because honestly, when I say I've ordered about eight coats, no, it's ridiculous. Guys, I, I am not well. I am not well. I mean, I didn't have any coats before, but this is extreme. Like, this is absolutely extreme. So, yeah, this is an issue. Oh, I don't know when I'm gonna post this because I feel like you guys could tell me what coats to take and what coats not to take. Anyway, I'm gonna show you a few bits on now. Okay, I quickly just put on, um, actually something from PLT Sport. I've never tried anything from PLT Sport before. And I don't know why, because this 
it's absolutely insane i'm really fussy when it comes to like gym leggings especially but these gym leggings are so good and i've just done the bum test definitely not see-through but yeah i'm really happy with these so i might actually get on plt and order a few more bits in different colors because i just went with black because i feel like it's quite a good staple color this outfit though i might wear like quite not quite a few days like a couple of days in new york with just a coat over the top because um everyone says that you need to be comfy and we probably will do a lot of walking around so if i just wear this with some trainers maybe and then some of the coats all these coats that i'm going to show you are actually from plt and i love all of them i love absolutely all of them which is a real issue because i don't know which one to take let me just start off with this gilet actually because it's at the top and I'm a huge, huge gilet wearer. I have most colours of gilet, but I don't have this one. I like this brown colour. Um, and I like the fact that it's not too cropped. A lot of the ones I have sort of come to here, but I like the fact that it sort of covers your bum a little bit. It's got little toggles here, and it's got a zip and buttons as well with some pockets. I have mentioned to you guys before that I am not a huge big coat wearer. Obviously, for New York, it's different because I do think it is going to be very cold, but a gilet especially is my like go-to thing to wear with like a hoodie or a jumper just for a little bit of extra warmth but not too much extra warmth so if we get to new york and it turns out to be actually quite warm this is probably the sort of outfit that i will live in i won't lie yeah i'm really happy with this this will definitely 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 be coming with me now another coat that i picked up and i absolutely love it didn't disappoint because i saw it on the website and i was like okay that's coming with me it's even better in person it's like this gorgeous khaki color which i love and then I don't know if you guys can see here it's like two tones this bit's just more like i don't know what material you describe that just like a normal coat material and then you've got like this borg i think it's i have no idea i've never done a haul before guys oh my god i've never done a haul with you guys um borg contrast panel puffer coat i got this in a large um because we like our coats large and oversized but this is so nice and comfy it's not too thick as well which i'm really happy with i was worried it's gonna be quite thick and like i wasn't gonna be able to move in it but there's another one quite similar <laughs> i don't know which ones to take i feel like i'm gonna take this one but yeah this is in a size large it's got a nice zip as well for like a nice oversized coat with some leggings i'm really loving this yeah do you know what i probably will take it with me i don't have any i think i have one long trench coat um and i know they're very trendy and um i did pick up two i won't lie i picked up two trench coats one of them well i love it the only other trench coat i've got is black um so it is quite similar but this oh god it is so nice it's too completely like it's very contrast in terms of material so you've got again like this like faux leather material and then you've just got like oh i don't know what material it is i'm rubbish it's called the faux leather contrast oh wool it's wool so it's like a leather and a wool trench coat with a belt let me put this on for you this is in a size 12 we've got this in size 12 i really really love this so much it's not like i don't know if you guys can see it's not like full to the floor like that comes just um i'd say like in between the floor and my knees i don't i just don't think i've ever seen something like this before i don't ever think i've ever seen a coat with this leather and wool together so the pockets here are leather and then around it is wool yeah i'm really loving this it's got the belt as well where are you I feel like this maybe with a hat and my converse this is definitely a coat that i will be taking so that's every single coat that i've shown you so far that i will be taking great we're not making any progress here she's a trench coat girl now um and then the other trench coat i got again in this khaki color um it was actually my lovely sister that was modeling this on the website and i thought okay well you've influenced me i got this in a 10 i wonder why i got this in a 10 not in a 12 oh i think this is oversized this is called the oversized double breasted military trim coat in a 10 this is a bit longer than the other one. Oh god no i wish i was posting this before so you guys could tell me which coat to take i literally don't know um i love this one too the pockets are really big on this but i've also got that khaki borg one but i think i i don't know i think i might prefer this one to the black one I love them both but yeah this is so super nice as well i would probably if i was going to do this up i wouldn't bother with the buttons but i would just tie this across like that again with just some leggings and my converse i feel like coats are really the thing like coats dress it up or dress it down 
you can accessorize with a coat like you could be basically wearing what i'm wearing now the most basic outfit with some trainers and just change your coats up so maybe all i need to take is coats do you know what i mean like i don't need to bother taking outfits i'll just pack a couple of these and take loads of different coats i think that's what i might do you know um i did get a leather jacket i'll show you this now i actually really like the red on the inside of this especially if you're wearing an all black outfit the little pop of red on the inside is actually quite nice yeah i love this this is quite light so this is probably a very much me jacket because it's quite light and quite thin um i could probably wear this with like a hoodie or a jumper and not get too hot like i normally do yeah i like this a little bit cropped yeah, even with this outfit wow oh my god i've got so many coats i don't know what to do okay i've only got two more guys i promise you i've only got two more coats to show you um this probably won't come with me just because it's so big and bulky oh now i see it on i want to take it with me oh. now i'm the most annoying person in the world so this is just a faux leather like puff jacket i don't know if you can tell it's called the black pocket front faux leather oversized puffer in a 10 i got it in a 10 yeah it's basically like a puff jacket but in leather quite a few people have this um, but i might save this for home i don't know oh no guys and i'm not going for that many days like i don't need this many coats i'm only going for five days four nights um so i'm just being silly really but i love this so much this will probably be like a day-to-day -day one for me even if i'm just going to the gym i'd chuck this on i feel like it's just like a normal puffer jacket but it sort of dresses up an outfit a little bit anything that's faux leather i think dresses something up a bit anyway so that's god knows how many i've shown you now probably like my fifth or sixth coat and then the last thing I picked up, well, the last jacket coat that I picked up, I actually already have in black, but I wear it all the time. I literally live in that jacket um, that I saw in another colour and I got it in another colour because the amount I wear it is not normal. But it's basically um, a very thin leather jacket, really. I don't really know how to describe it, but... I've got this in black. It's like oversized. Obviously a bit creased right now. Beige throw leather drop shoulder oversized dad blazer. If you go on my Instagram, you'll probably see me wearing this in black. In like every single picture. But yeah, I really like this. I might just take this for like an evening outfit. Maybe with, I don't know, some leather trousers that I've got or a little dress that I'm taking. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with every single coat that I've picked up. I won't lie, guys. Like, I had no coats. I literally had no coats. I think on the back of my door, this is gonna be funny, on the back of this door are the coats that I have hanging up. Are you ready? I have one puffer coat, like a rab coat. No, I have I have two rab coats, that's really it. That's literally it. I think in the wardrobe I've got a black puffer and potentially a long trench coat, but I I'm not really a coat wearer and I feel like I need to get into wearing coats because like I said, you can wear whatever the hell you want underneath. And if you've got a nice coat, then really you're winning. Now the problem I'm going to have is deciding which ones to pack. But yeah, I'm really buzzing with the bits I picked up from PLT. With PLT for me, I would say 90% of my clothes are from there. Maybe 95%. I feel like you know what you're going to get. The prices are really quite great. I always know exactly what size to order. It's never like, well, oh, should I get in between an eight or a 10 or a 10 and a 12. Like I always know I'm probably gonna be a 10 in PLT. If anyone ever says to me, oh, where did you get that from? My response 99% of the time is probably PLT. So yeah, I'm really pleased that I finally got some nice coats to wear, nice coats to dress up an outfit with. I'm sure I will post lots of pictures of me wearing those coats in New York all over my Instagram. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, come follow me on Instagram, it's Zoe Hay. And now the moment of the day that I've actually been dreading a little bit. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna get my suitcase out of the little storage cupboard that we have and then lay out a few bits that I think I'm definitely gonna be taking with me. Okay, I've got my suitcase out of the cupboard. This, I have had, God, absolute years. I must have had it like 10 years. So I can't tell you where it's from, I'm so sorry. But this has got me through every single holiday trip that i've been on for a very very long time i need to take this off wherever i went to last where was this this was oh this would have been from cyprus when i went to cyprus with work so we'll just take that off right now where to start it's oh, i look at it and i think this isn't big enough to fit two let alone three coats in here um let me just show you what coats i actually already had this is the black trench coat i had 
literally just one black trench coat and then i've just got like a few gilets that's that's really it but i'm not going to take any of them obviously i've got enough coats you guys have seen that okay two things that obviously need to come with me my wash bag this wash bag is from um molly's cosmetips edit and um, this was the bag that came with the edit that had like all the stuff in it that she picked to go in the bag and this wash bag is amazing i literally love it it's so big it would fit perfectly i mean it's a little bit big for the suitcase but i've taken it before and i know that it fits um but the amount of stuff i can get in here i literally have every single toiletry from like my shampoos and conditioners to toothbrush hairbrush like it's all in there um so i'll definitely be taking that i need to go through it and have a little sort out but i think i'll probably do that tomorrow because i'll probably need stuff in this wash bag before we actually go so i'll just put that by the suitcase i won't actually put it in because i will need stuff in it also my makeup bag now i have used this makeup bag this style of makeup bag for forever it's those bags that are like lay out flat and then you can put all the stuff in and then you just do it up by the drawstring but like no structure and shape to it but it's honestly like the best invention ever this is the one that i've used for years and i've just found that i've actually got um a new one it's from it's called the flat lay company i feel like i might put some of my stuff in there because i'm not going to take like a full face of stuff like i'm not going to take every single makeup item that's in that black bag so i might just take the bits that i was going to take and put them in here i probably won't take that many pairs of shoes i will be wearing for the majority of my time including traveling and doing all the walking about in new york probably these converse they need a bit of a clean but danny got me these for christmas and i have not taken them off my feet ever since like i was never a huge lover of converse and then i saw these in the shop because they're like they're kind of like trainer converse sorry they are a bit dirty but they've got a bit of a um a bit of a chunky sole which i quite like for a bit of height and yeah i really really love these they're like the comfiest things i've ever worn so i'll probably travel in these to be honest and then i'm taking one pair of heels i might take i've got some knee-high boots under my bed which i might take these are my little perspex heels that i pretty much always wear just from zara the first night we are going to an event and then we booked a nice dinner at that buddha khan so I'll probably wear these with like a nice dress on the first night. Okay, guys, I've just been and got the coats that I've decided I'm definitely going to take. Um, so, purely because of weight, I'm not taking both the trench coats. I'm only going to take the black one because it's a bit lighter than the other one. And I just really don't, I'm not sure what, um, what weight we've got for our luggage. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take this green org one because, again, it's really quite light. And I'm going to take the leather jacket. Oh, yeah, the leather jacket. And then I'll probably just travel in a tracksuit with the gilet. That's my decision. But look, oh my God. I feel, feel like it's going to take up a whole side. That is literally going to take up this whole side. Should we have a look? Okay, this is just really... This might prove to be very difficult. Okay, one... I mean, I could travel in something like this. I'll tell you what, I'm going to travel in the leather jacket with the tracksuit. I'm not going to take the gilet and I'm going to take one. <laughs> Look how much it takes up. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, guys. That takes up the whole side. What the hell am I meant to do? I have to take coats. Like, it's going to be cold. Um. Oh well. And then this one. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to use some of Danny's space okay that's not horrendous i can like i know it looks like it's taking up a lot of room but if you push it down it's actually not so i can probably put loads more clothes in this side as well um and then toiletries and shoes in that side and maybe some more clothes guys i don't know what to do because i have just measured this and i just checked on virgin atlantic page about the dimensions and this is within the dimensions for height and width but the depth it's like two centimeters over so for the height, it, this is 55 centimetres and you're allowed 56, great. The width, it's this is 33 and you're allowed 36, that's great. But the depth, it this is 22 and you're allowed 20. I feel like I'm just going to risk it because it looks quite small and like, I feel like they might just let me on with it. For two centimetres, what, that's like that surely i think i'm i think i'm gonna pack it guys i really think i'm gonna because it gives me so much more room then then i can probably just take another coat do you know what i mean the other option of bag that i have to take also from captain sun is this one which 
again is a really good size i could get my laptop in it i could probably get some toiletries in there i could probably get some shoes in there like it is really good there's loads of room in here so i'll see how much room i've got left over my suitcase first and then decide what i need to take I wonder if I could take this and the suitcase. No, that's really taking the piss. So I'm going to finish packing this now. Um, I won't bother showing you exactly what I'm taking, but I'm going to finish packing this now, see how much room I've got at the end, and then decide what I'm going to take. Because I actually think I've done this with, like, real ease. And I don't understand how, because I thought, honestly, I'd have no room. But I'm actually not, I'm actually not taking that many clothes. Like, I'm really, really not. I'll probably The set that I'm travelling in, I'll probably wear... I don't know, on another day, like, I'm literally just going to wear those gym sets, I think. And then dress up with some um, coats. I also picked up, actually, from PLT, I've got to show you guys this, because it's actually so nice. But it's like a unitard. Um, like an all-in-one jumpsuit. Same sort of material as the gym tops that I'm wearing now. Um, with, like, a zip up the front, and it comes up really high neck, and I love high neck with, like, arms out and stuff. So I'll probably wear that. I don't know, I feel like you could probably dress that up with heels and a nice coat. Probably another outfit I'll wear in the day with a coat. Yeah, I've literally just packed like a few pairs of leather trousers, some tops, and then just like loads of gym sets. I might see what weight this comes to. We've got 23 kilograms. I checked, we've got 23 kilograms. Um, so I'll weigh this and then see how much more weight I've got to take. And then if I've got room, which I think I have, I'll probably just chuck another coat in. So that's that, that's my clothes. I'll zip that up properly in a minute. <laughs> That's that side. And then in this side, all I've got pretty much is I've got all my underwear in here, so like knickers, socks, bras. I'll be travelling in my Converse, and then I'm just going to take these New Balance, um, these ones here as well. And then just one pair of heels, which I probably won't even get around to wearing. I'm just going to take one curler. This is Molly's Beauty Works one. I'm not going to bother taking a hairdryer or straighteners. There's normally a hairdryer in the room, and I probably won't be straightening my hair at any point. And then I've got two hats, which I've ordered recently. Um, just got a black New Balance one here. And then this, like, beige one. I'll probably take both of them. I've never worn them before. And then my bag that I'll travel in is just my everyday Louis Vuitton little rucksack. And then I'll probably just take one other bag, like a black evening bag. This is my new black YSL one that um, Molly got me for Christmas. She got me both of these for Christmas, actually. This one was like from two, three years ago. And then my black one from this year. And then literally just my toiletries and my makeup. And I'm sure that's pretty much it. Like, I feel like I'm missing something. I can definitely take more coats then, that's great. In my Louis Vuitton bag, I'll probably literally just have my passport. And I'll put my camera in there with like my small um, vlogging stick. Again, because we're going to get up to so much, like I'm unsure whether to do one big New York vlog or like break it down into days because I feel like I'm going to get enough content to do one day, two day, three day. Do you know what I mean? So um, if I post this tomorrow, let me know what you guys want to see. If you'd rather see like one long vlog or if you'd rather me break it down into a few vlogs. Danny's literally on his way home from work now. Um, he'll be very pleased to see that I've packed. So I'm going to finish sorting this out a bit later. I'll probably take as well my laptop. I'll definitely take my laptop because then... Um, I can, you know, say we can't watch films in the room for some reason. I can probably try and get some on my laptop or try and do some work on the flights. I think it's like a six, seven or eight hour flight. I can't actually remember, but it's a long flight. So I can definitely do some work on my laptop on the flight. I'm just trying to rack my brains. There's nothing worse than leaving the house and then driving to wherever you're going, thinking the whole time, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I've forgotten something. So I'm going to make a little list, I think, before we go. I don't know what plug sockets actually they use. Well, we need an adapter. I need to have a look at that. I might have to take an adapter, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm really happy with actually how much stuff I've managed to get in here. I hope you guys have enjoyed sort of spending the day with me, watching me pack, seeing what new bits I've ordered from PLT. I honestly can't wait to bring you with me to New York. Like, I just feel like we're going to get up to so much and you guys are going to see it all with us and that is so exciting. And I'm hoping to get some really good content for you whilst we're out there. And hopefully those of you that haven't been to New York before, this sort of makes you want to go. Or if you've been loads of times before, you know, it sort of makes you reminisce on the times that you have been. So I'm really excited to bring you guys along with me to that. I'll make sure to leave all the outfits that I've shown you today, basically all the hundreds of coats that I've shown you, link down below in the description. So make sure you use those links to go and shop them. And yeah, I love you all so, so much. I'm so excited. Literally less than 48 hours now till we're on the plane to New York. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you very, very, very soon in my next one. Bye guys.